And so there are lots of, there are lots of ways that the French expressed their cultural support uh, for America. And you see that this kind of diplomatic, this diplomatic interest and this very ideological support come together in the ways that the France unofficially aids America at the beginning of the American Revolution. And I'll just give you a couple examples of that. Um, one, there is the great playwright Beaumarchais, who wrote the play The Marriage of Figaro, and which was a huge hit in France, and everyone loved it. And he was very interested in the American cause. So he invented a fake company so that he could find a way to ship money and uniforms and, and guns to America to help the American Revolution. And in fact, the French government put some money into this company um, so that it could go to America and help the Americans in their revolution. You also get uh, lots of young French officers very eager to fight in the war. Now, there, there are two reasons for this. One is, of course, this wonderful ideological reason that, oh, yay, America is going to be this brand new republic and it's going to fulfill all of our wildest enlightenment dreams and it's going to be wonderful and we want to help that. At the same time, at this point in the early 70s, 1770s, it's been well over 10 years since the Seven Years' War ended. So there's been 10 years of no warfare for France. And usually we think of peace as a good thing, and peace is a good thing. But when the way that French society was structured, uh, French nobles, most of whom were officers in the army, needed to have an opportunity to prove themselves in battle to show that they merited the privileges that they had as a member of the noble class. So you have lots of young French officers who have never had a chance to test themselves in battle, who are eager to go to a place where there is fighting so they can show how brave they are and, and how well they fight, and they'll give them a chance to shed some blood for their king, and, and that way they'll get honors, and it will show everyone that, yes, I am a noble, and I am an aristocrat, and I have lots of land and lots of money, but I have shed blood for the king, so I, I merit um, uh, these things. So you see a lot of uh, some, some, some uh, young French officers who, who want to be volunteers to go to America. And uh, s at the beginning, America is eager to get any help they can get. But when many vo French volunteers show up and say, hello, I'm a French officer, I would like a commission, and no, I do not speak any English, uh, why do you ask? Uh, Congress and, and General Washington start to sour towards those volunteers because the fact that they can't speak English um, and the fact that they're not used to fighting in America and the fact that they're not used to having American troops who are different from French troops is not going to be very helpful.